don't need bigger knife. Yeah. Is there a door? <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up into it. And, uh, See, Dennis, the thing is, there is no door. There is no spoon. There's a door. There's just no spoon. There's no spoon. How can there possibly be a door? Think about it. Well, the chick doesn't know what to work right now because there's no spoon. It's... Oh, you mean like, not in the face, not in the face. <laughs> That's fair. Well, there can be spoons if nothing else than for the tick. But the all important question, though, is why do blue, little blue men hit me with fish? So that was the weirdest re-intro to an episode we've done in a long time. Um, uh, <laughs> that's my favorite quote from the tick. I blame the blue man group. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot all about the tick. Now I have. You should I, never forget about the tick. We had a whole like conversation about his uh... war cry. Spoon. And, and you know, know. And it happened you know, in the chat, Joe. You know, as we were talking. Also, Lyme disease. Like seriously. Yeah, yeah. Never forget about the ticks, man. <laughs> you gotta disease. always check. We're dropping rhymes and talking Lyme disease, calling attention to prevention. So please use repellent and do it. Never, never forgive. Never forget. <laughs> that shit cre creeps up on you, man. Sure does. Uh, creeping up on speaking you. Of, yeah. spe speaking of things that look like ticks, how about Spiderco's new logo? <laughs> speaking of creeping up on you, greetings, everybody. We have returned once again. <laughs> we are here to continue our evening for the night. Yeah. We are here. <laughs> evening, to... evening for the night. Wow. We are here to um... <laughs> confuse and amaze. Not in that order. Woo! Did you call it Spiderco's new logo? Did they change their logo? No, not really. It's been their logo for a long time, but it still looks like a tick. <laughs> it does look like a tick. I'll give you that. They call it the bug. They don't even call it the spider. Do you know how much that bothers me? Like, on a spiritual level, they don't call it the spider co spider. They call it the spider co bug. I hate it. Is it weird <laughs> that it took us all the way to the Kapara to name us a, a knife after the spider? I did absolutely no research on that. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I have no way to verify whether that's true or not. <laughs> Somebody will yell at me in chat if I was wrong. Paul? I just really like the head cannon of it being the first one. Oh, I hate. So yeah, in this segment, oh. we're going to jump in and have a look at some of the new 2021 Spider Co offerings. Yeah, very nice. 2021. I, okay, so here's the thing: is they say it's 2021, <laughs> but I guarantee that my Carta PM2 is not coming out in the year of 20. Anyway, I'm skipping forward, but still, <laughs> Spider Co. Uh, have you met Spider Co? Uh, would you bring out some of the 2020 models, like you've been saying for the last little while, like you know yeah, yeah. Rex Rex 45 Native Chief, before you worry about any of the shit that we're about to talk about? <laughs> Don't so, don't you dare rush them. Um, as you can see, no one of, no one can rush Spider Co. As we've seen, <laughs> that's the point. That's the joke. So as you can see, that Joe pulled up there. We're going to be looking into the reveal seven catalog. Yes. Yeah. Let's see what they've revealed. That's brand new and has never been seen before. I just want to thank Ben and Chat for doing my job for me and asking people what they're carrying. Um. <laughs> Cool. And by the way, thanks, the Ben. Tech, the thanks, tech. Ben, for doing Mr. Fisk's job, doing Paul's job. It's mm -hmm. awesome, Chain. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the worst human centipede. But at least I'm, at the, I'm in the right position. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say that the best tech swordfish is a sweet little blade. But uh, yes. yeah. also that. <laughs> um, and the Berg's Blade Slim Mini. Is that I think that cleavery thing that he just got. All right. You know, he context for the audience, Paul. Um, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna make a difference. No. Please go on. Cool. So uh, Spider can reveal. So page one, yes. you say. Yeah. <laughs> so page one is a. There's peak. 
<laughs> yeah, they, they talk about stuff, and then there's this pink stuff. We'll, we'll just peel it open and reveal the pink inside. Whoa. Whoa. So, <laughs> something, something, night, eh? something we're all pink on the inside. So these guys True are story. S30V, which is interesting. Indeed. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Um, Colin. So I uh, may be thinking about finally buying um, Dragonfly and maybe doing some blade swaps with either a K390 or an S30. or. A... I, but yeah, they did them as S30, which I, is pretty cool. I kind of like the black and pink. But uh-huh. It's not the worst looking thing in the world, I gotta say. But don't hate it. If I could get the MyCar to handle finally and just swap out some VG10 and mm. put an S30 blade on it and have a MyCar to mm. S30, it would probably be a happy guy. At so, that and at that size, actually, I would cons- I would consider copper scales for the Dragonfly if you could find them. I have no idea if that's even available for, for after, anyone. But after coppering my proper, there's no way I'm putting more copper scales on anything anytime soon. That's it's, but the handles are so there's tiny. so much weight. There's so much weight. <laughs> Anyway, I'm my proper. Yeah. So uh, next night, <laughs> do we care about anything else about? Uh, it's it's this uh, it's, breast. Yeah, it's the pink. I, I believe so. It's the pink. The pink heels. Uh, they've 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 been doing stuff with these guys for a long time. I think. Um, mm-hmm. So it's good to see them continuing that. Next up is another dragonfly, the lightweight K three ninety Warren Cliff edition. Ooh, fancy. And now they've got a bunch of f- fully serrated K390 stuff. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So, yeah. nothing like we haven't seen before, just it's Look, new in K390, so that's kind of nice. They needed three more knives. They discovered, they thought about it, they went, wait a minute, if we sharpen them differently, it's like a whole new knife. Yeah. Uh, we can been... release this like it never happened. <laughs> They've been playing that game since the eighties. No. <laughs> the spider. What do you edge. mean uh, a harpy is just a matriarch is just a talisman is just a anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh quick side note before we move on. K three ninety, really cool that this is gonna be a standard offering. Um there's been a huge yeah, no, I'll say there's been a pretty big hype train for K390 generally. Um, getting it with FRN handles is going to bring down the price, so cool. Cool to see that they're continuing that. Um, in particular, for these small knives, like the uh, Dragonflies, it's cool stuff. Next knife. <laughs> the Stretch 2, yeah. also in K390. And then two versions of the Salt 2. Yep. Well, you see, they're going to add a Serrations. And make it warning. <laughs> Man, it's almost like there's a pattern here. So, I'm trying is, to. Is the rock jumper uh, that they made yes. for yeah. ropes? Correct. While rock climbing? Yes. That so, innovation they made for that knife, they should have done on the Salt series for the exact same reason. Because getting cords caught on your wall on a boat is really dangerous. And you don't. No, want no. To they can leave that choil on. where it is. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not anyway um uh, yeah next knife. next knife i think <laughs> i've i was trying to pad some of this stuff out because there, there's only 12 pages so six spreads <laughs> here and there's anyway well they haven't showed us anything new right oh uh, which is good and bad um yeah. in a couple different ways because maybe they can actually play catch up and get out with some stuff properly uh, um here's hoping and everything in 2021 will be like a, it'll be a reset year where everything uh, everything from this year should be fairly easy to get out because they're just already using templates that already exist, right? So mm-hmm. crossing our fingers. Speaking of templates that already exist, next knife. I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the UK pen knife gets the bright yellow treatment, but not H1. It's LC 200N. Uh, yep. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't do like the the toxic green that they were doing with the rest of the salt series lately uk uk doesn't like toxic yep. green right oh wow yeah, can we talk about zombie how, green. how freaking weird that is like uh, for anyone in the audience who's not aware um it's actually written in their laws now that zombie knives being identified by their bright green handles and sometimes black blades 
are just flat out not legal for import to the UK. I don't yeah, even think yeah. they're legal to make there. Like anything okay. with any sort of zombie green, uh, zombie related type of marketing, blood splatter, anything like that. Yeah. No dice. Yeah. No dice. Yeah. But if it's bright yellow, hey, it's not any less dangerous of a knife. But sure, it's allowed in because it's not scary green. Yeah. And speaking of European markets and little, next knife, little native slip it. <laughs> Slipping I, little native. I actually think that this iteration of the little native is probably going to be the best iteration of the little native because um, I really didn't like the compression lock version, and I thought the back look. <laughs> was there a back look? Was there a back yeah, lock? Yeah, little native? yeah. You bet there was. Yeah, I vaguely remember playing with that thing, and it was all right. But I think a slip joint platform fits this a lot better. Hmm. Next dive. Hey, is that... it still what? What's the steel? S thirty. Yeah. Good yeah. Enough. Yeah. Cool. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Next knife. They Again, ha- reiterations. They they haven't killed off the roadie. Isn't that cool? And it's the same steel as it was before. What was that steel? And six ninety cobalt. Yeah. Those European sons oh. of bitches. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I, don't, I don't hate the brown one. Yeah. The color's fine. It, that that's not my problem with the knife. <laughs> it's not Dennis's problem either, as far as I know. What's this now? I don't mind the roadie. I don't think they needed to come out with new colors. Yeah. And it was funny that you liked the brown, Paul, because I was like, "Well, the green's okay, but who would buy the brown one?" <laughs> like, <it's... laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah. I bought the brown neck muck too. Yeah, you yep. sure did. I actually had a guy tell me specifically that he was upset that we didn't carry that for the record. But anyways, a um, little bit of vindication to make you feel better. Yeah. One guy. Next knife. <laughs> one guy. <laughs> yeah. Next knife. Yo, hey, look, a copy of a knife oh, that already exists. Black. I've never seen that before. Okay. No, I'm not, no, I'm, you I'm, haven't. No, I'm not going to make fun of the, I'm not going to make fun of the mule team because I'm totally on board with what that program is all about. Uh, now in Z max, <laughs> PM. Uh, I don't actually know much about anything of that type of steel. Yeah. Was Z-Max the stuff that the Miller Brothers custom knives and stuff were using there for a while? I, I don't know. According to this features yeah. Zap Z-Max. So Zap, I guess, is the company producing it. And they're familiar. Why are they familiar? What else do they produce? Mm. I feel like if... Floor soap? I was gonna say sanitizers. <laughs> like it's, yeah, I no, like, hate I didn't it. recognize them from like floor sanding polish. Indust- industrial stuff. cleaning. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what Zap is. But I think this is a different <laughs> Zap. <laughs> I would assume probably it's, it's Zap with two P's. Uh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Is it this? Oh shit! It's so the same it's... company. No, it's, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very funny. Nice. Oh, that's too anyway. Funny. Next knife. <laughs> uh, the PM2 in Crewware and my card. Speaking, kn- speaking of knives, that'll never happen in 2021. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait. I led the episode with this knife, didn't I? I- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might buy one of those if it, show- when it-, if it ever shows up. Well, they just released the uh, Shamans with Z Wear and my card yeah. into the wild. They just got released like a week ago. And now they're spreading and breeding, and you know, then they're gonna have an infestation problem. Don't like that. You that. spay and neuter your shamans, everyone. Yeah, you bet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this filthy man in rags just being dragged by the collar where's, where's <laughs> into a, when you need uh, to the back end message. of a veterinary clinic. <laughs> anyway, next knife. Hey, that looks familiar. Next. <laughs> What the hell else are we going to say about a PM2? I mean, goddamn, the thing's been around forever and it has a million different variations. What do you want? <laughs> I would have liked to see the micarta rounded instead of square slabs. Uh, me too. Absolutely, a thousand percent. But if the- they're rounding them on the shaman, they can do it on the PM2. Yeah, but then they'd have to do it. Wouldn't be a PM2 anymore. Yep. It would be. It PM2 would just be one with air. It would just be one with Aramis scales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff, though. Anyway. Next dive. Hey, I have something like that. It's a re-release of the Phoenix. You gave me some right dye. I could make yours look exactly like that. You I keep swear. your filthy mm-hmm. mitts away from you my need right Phoenix. Just a little bit of red wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So I'm not sure if that titanium is gonna turn out looking like that or not, because on the original it's more of a polish. But, I mean, this is super cool for people who missed out the first time around. I fully admit that if I didn't own the, the, the original that I have, I would buy this, um, even at the super inflated price they're asking. Uh, it's like 425 or 450 American <coughs> for VG10, by the way. They don't change anything else about oh. it. They just give it red G10 handles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's sad. They, they could have done anything else. Dude, even S30V. Yeah. If it was S30V, then they, I would have I would have bought it. But um, no, they, they didn't upgrade it really in any meaningful way, which totally sucks. Well, you see, they only made 477 of them because they only had that many leftover blades from the original ones that <laughs> people have returned because the knife is so goddamn ugly. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's all the right day thing for the, that they had. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> this was totally a Seki City scrapped together sprint run if I've ever seen it. Well, when, <laughs> when was this? That they don't even say here, but like, when was this knife discontinued? I don't feel like going to Spider Wiki. Are you they telling me um, they, I'm, they I'm gonna throw it out there 2014, something like that, 2015. Okay, that is that is more recent than I would have assumed. They ran for a couple years, but yeah, unfortunately, maybe, maybe 2014, 2013, somewhere in there. Kind of sucks to say this is probably the most unique thing in this entire <laughs> catalog right now, but. <laughs> Next um, knife? There's, there's nothing in this catalog that's actually new. That's the end, isn't it? There's a coin. There's coins. <laughs> well, coin. It's, tri it's triangular, and there's some, there's some bandanas that they should have come out with years ago, and coffee mugs, and. I, I mm. like the crossed over Bowie with the bug bandana. I got to admit, it's mm -hmm. kind of a yep. nice one. It's kind of cute. I actually like having Sal's logo at the bottom there. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. There's absolutely nothing new. There's no new design out for 2021. Everything's just a reiteration yeah. of something that exists. On that note, uh, Mr. Fisk has made an interesting point in chat about the fact that he thinks that Spartaco is just doing a social experiment to see how little he can, uh, how little they can change or try in making a knife <laughs> and still retain their fanboys. So, I think they're winning. Yeah. <laughs> they are succeeding. Yep. I mean, given given everything that's going on, the current health crisis, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sure. I mean, production is going to be set back. You don't have as many people working on the floor of your different factories. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hedging my bets. I'm hoping that Spyderco comes out with some crazy shit later this year and be like, look at this crazy bullshit we've been working on. Like, I, I hope, I hope something like that happens. Because uh, would be nice. So is the yeah. PM2 a sprint? Like that's the other thing. Is no sprints, no flashbatches. Yes, uh, the the hmm. Phoenix was a sprint. The Phoenix is a sprint. It doesn't yeah. say that the PM2 is. That's so interesting. If the crew, yeah, yeah. that could be it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. If they just are like here, here it is. Yeah. Oh, they might talk me into owning a PM2. Those sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna round the micarta. <laughs> like it should have been from factory. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's my favorite of the uh, the whole batch too. Is that paramilitary? And I can't remember what knife it was, but I think it was the Blade HQ video or the Knife Center video with Eric Glesser talking and he had the Spyderco bag behind him with all the new knives that were coming out. And if you watch that video, I think it was the stretch. They didn't even have a stretch with a blue handle and a K390. So he had to pull the white stretch out of the bag and then like i think he had the police model with k390 and he's like it'll be this knife but with this color like they are so far behind <laughs> they didn't even have that knife to show one of to the camera that's amazing that's yeah. brutal is what that I is like that. and we're still expecting Spartaco to be able to catch up after they're like, we don't even have one of these to show off, so we're going to show last year's sprint run, which he has. Shouldn't have those been gone if they really had 600 of the white stretches? 
He bought <laughs> one for himself, okay? It's his personal he collection. He's member number one in that VIP membership. Like, yeah, his son. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, probably number two. Dad's probably number one. No, I will say I'm kind of looking forward to some of the things with LC200N and K390 yeah. and yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's lackluster as far as as far as coming out with. new stuff. Yeah. yeah, like I'm actually personally interested in that uh, the the, uh, the UK pen knife with the LC200 and the yellow handle. That's just a fun little thing. But don't hate. And that. then dragonflies with S30. Like I said, yeah, I do like that pink and black. It's nice. Anyway, that's it for uh, Spider-Co. <laughs> it's uh, kind of brutal. Indeed. How <laughs> long? How long did that? La- did this session run? It's like not even half an hour. Don't even 15, worry. About 20 it. minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nigel, favorite from the offerings? The mule team. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the you- merit. Are you allowed to count the mule team as your favorite? <laughs> it's in the catalog. Yes. <laughs> it's like saying the coin. <laughs> like <it's... laughs> oh, Joe, I'm guessing the Howard Vale sprint run at $500 is what you're all 400, whatever it is. I, I'm excited to see it available on the market again. <coughs> um, it's cool. I, I think that's the one I'm most happy to see make a return. But as far as something cool. I'll actually buy, the U, the UK pad knife, probably in mm-hmm. yellow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the LC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I still don't own any of that steel. Yeah, yeah. And the UK pen knife, I believe, is actually a pretty thin behind the edge, slicey little bastard. So yeah. if you want to get some optimum performance out of LC, that's probably not a bad option to do it with. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. And, and the yellow takes writ dye pretty good if you wanted to mm-hmm. go. If I ever brave and yeah. If, if I ever get tired of it, maybe somehow turn it into a purple. That'd be kind of cool. I've seen guys mm-hmm. use blue and it end up green type of because of the combination and stuff like that, right? So yeah. Right, right. What about uh, what about you, Paul? Is it still the PM two that you're? Uh... Uh, PM two followed closely by that UK pen knife. I do like. Do you like the, the yellow guy as well? Often. Oh, well, I like the idea of dying it. You guys kind of turned me on to that idea. Mm. Um, but the S30 Dragonfly is also. Oh, I was, was going to surprise you with the brown roadie, but, you know, <laughs> now, now it's, it's, not even, it's not even your favorite the anymore. The phrase, so. I was going to surprise you with a brown roadie. With <laughs> 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 a brown roadie. <laughs> oh, my. That's almost as bad oh, as. Oh, that's gold. It's almost yeah. as bad as the penis knife from last episode. <laughs> no, you will not. <laughs> oh, that's that's right up there with lobster knob, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a brown roadie. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'll look it up on Urban Dictionary later for you. <laughs> you do what you want on your own time. <laughs> I'm gonna share it, Joe. I'm gonna share it with you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, lackluster from Spider Co. Yeah. Like I said, the, the one thing that made me laugh is that they didn't even have a stretch to show off. They were just like, this knife in this color. But I'm like, you are not impressing me when it comes to being able to get things out when you need to. If this is yeah. what you're doing, even in the interview. At Blade. Although, yeah, there's other companies that like to tease as well as. Yeah. Like yeah. you could have painted it at the very worst. <laughs> it's, it, well, it's, it's, it's the same blue paint from the ritual from like Tuesday's episode or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, that being said, the handles were white. He could have dyed it at home in a pot and it would have looked close enough. Yeah. Anyway. I think you're giving Eric too much credit, Joe. <laughs> That's pretty mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think that's about it for this. I can't think of much else to say about Spider-Co's lackluster uh, reveal. Indeed. Um, it it had s- this much luster. Yep. Mr. Fist is making a point to say special announcement. Dennis's reground bailout now has 43 followers. So uh, <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, the Damascus knife sellers jumped on a train there, and we got over 50 for a while, but they caught on. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Did they? It flared up to 50 and then it went back to 42 within like hours. All right. 
Oh, I don't sorry. think I even got those uh, messages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me laugh. Just all at once. Oh, no, it's a joke account. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. Fantastic. All right. So all speaking right. of not th- or things not going anywhere. Yeah, no doubt. Like this conversation. <laughs> We're at the end of this trade. Indeed. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this portion short just for the timing of how things have gone and due to the lackluster showing that Spiderco has for us to talk about. So, yeah, yeah, that's this portion. We have to readjust a different portion. What was that? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> Good finish. Good finish. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... So yeah, um, make sure to head on off to empty your bladders, refill your drinks in the appropriate order, and we shall return shortly with everyone. We don't need